Well, it's time, Matt. I'm gonna stop doing that, that's very annoying. It's time for the number one spot on our 2018 NALCS Power Rankings. And if somehow you didn't figure it out based on the other nine, coming in at number one is Team Solo Mid with their completely revamped roster. Three new players coming into the team and this team looks crazy. Crazy wow, good. Wow, you TSM fanboys. Yeah, I guess so. No, this look, the roster's pretty good. You look at this roster and if you, based on that alone, you have to put them first. And of course, TSM's history of succeeding, uh, you know, they've won how many splits in a row? It's absurd. So yep. you just have to say that TSM has the best roster right now. I mean, you add Sven and Mithy, the best bot Ooh. lane from the West. I mean, sure, you can argue that other people maybe individually are better at AD carry support, which I probably wouldn't even do. But when you have the combination of these two guys, when it comes to shot calling and consistently uh, winning lane and then their team fighting prowess, it doesn't get much better than this. And I mean, we've shown the clip of Mithy's Alistar zoning out Senkux in that Baron fight uh, in, against Splice in the quarterfinals, single-handedly winning that fight. That's the kind of things you can expect now with this new bot lane. Something that Biofrost might not have done. Sure, he can make these flashy plays, but Mithy is just, when it comes to communication and uh, team fights, I don't think it gets any better. Mike Young might be the only question mark because he's, you know, somewhat unproven, limited time in the LCS, and I know his all-star performance wasn't great. I don't care about that. He's got the potential, and I think he'll be groomed into uh, not a ward, but a fairly, pretty solid jungler for TSA. Yeah, and Mike Young, his career has been so short so far, yeah. it's unfair to go either way, uh, whether, he's gonna, whether he's great or he's terrible. You can't really say right now. I think by the end of the split, you'll have a much better idea based on, I mean, these superstar players that he's playing yeah. around. And right, if this team struggles, then it is gonna be on him because unless some of these lanes really poop the bed, <laughs> you could say, but I mean, I don't think they will, and he's gonna just have a field day in the jungle. And so, for some reason, people aren't so high on Sven and Mithy. I, I don't know why, because of a Rift Rivals performance, or G2 hasn't gotten out of groups That's at Worlds. They've been the best bot lane over the last almost three years, at least two years for sure. And I mean, you look at coming into this split, only two other teams besides TSM kept the same bottom lane together. So they just right away have that synergy. And they've not only been together for last split, they've been together for years. So I think they're going to come in here and just absolutely blitz that bottom lane. And that's going to help out a guy like Bjergsen. I mean, yes. across the board, you've got top three probably at worst, assuming Mike Young plays to his potential this upcoming slit. You've got guys all over the roster that's going to be top of the league. I mean, you look at TSM last year, and occasionally Doublelift would make these mistakes in big team fights that would kind of cost them advantages yep. and stuff like that. You look at Sven, that is not going to happen. This guy does not make those mistakes. He's so focused in the game. Except when he emotes against RNG. Right. Just stay away from <laughs> yeah. the flash and the emotes, Sven, and you're good. You're yes, good. but I mean, he will not lose you the game. No. Missy will not lose you the game. It's as stable as it gets. Sure, they might not stomp you in lane, but if it gets to that team fighting phase, then look up because it'll be tough to beat these guys. Yeah, and I think bringing in Mithy, obviously, I, TSM needs a shot caller to take some of those roles away from Bjergsen. Yeah. Of course, he can still be one of the main vocal leaders on that team, but they need someone else doing a lot of that shot calling. And Mithy's a guy you can bring in and do that. He's done that on G2. I know people are comparing it to Yellow Star when he came to TSM and that didn't work too well. But I mean, to be fair, towards the end of that split, uh, TSM was one team fight away from winning that LCS title. Even though they came in as that sixth seed in the playoffs, they absolutely steamrolled through the playoffs until they eventually lost to CLG. So it wasn't all a horrible experiment with Yellow Star. And, you know, people talked about how much did he actually shot call on Fnatic. I don't know. But I know Mithy's talked a lot on G2, and that's only going to help. And that's really going to help uh, communications with Mike Young as well, to have an experienced veteran guiding him. Yeah, even for Mike Young. That guy communicates a hell of a lot, too. I mean, if you watch just, you know, the video cameras at All-Stars, I swear he was always talking, always saying something, just giving information to the rest of his team. This guy's there, wards are over here, all that kind of stuff. So even if he doesn't perform necessarily mechanically right away, he can still give you that valuable, valuable information you need from your jungler when you're roaming around the map. So uh, I think this TSM team is probably going to win again, as long as they don't play uh, Jace in a crucial game. They should be fine. <laughs> Or at least give the Jace some help. 
you know, yeah. give him some attention <laughs> over there. But yeah, I mean, on paper, this TSM roster looks like one of the strongest iterations it's had, and people are calling it a Western All-Star team, which it pretty much is. is. Uh, so three EU guys, because I still count Bjergsen as EU, even yeah. though he's in NA now. But uh, right now, we got TSM coming in at the number one spot on our power rankings heading into the 2018 NALCS Spring Split. And that concludes our power rankings. Well, there's no zero, right? No, there's no zero. There's no zero. Number one is the final one. So uh, we'll, we'll look back at these power rankings as the split is going on and see how unbelievably wrong we are when Clutch Gaming is really the best team in the league. Yeah. You know, we'll give Immortals a zero spot. Immortals, Rip. zero. Shout out to Immortals. We'll never forget. At least there's pieces of them yes, everywhere. They still exist. And the Guardians are in their house. Guardians are in their house. That's, that's pretty. That's, that sounded scary. Yeah. The guardians are in your house. Oh no! Uh, Get some <laughs> main thing we're looking at in this spring split is all the vengeance games because there's pieces of all these different rosters all over the place. There's going to be features galore yeah. for Riot to be producing. But uh, that's it for the power rankings. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.